Mr. Taylor, uh, Dr. Taylor, uh, we have uh, we've had an opportunity to hear from you before, and um, I wanted to quickly follow up on some exchanges that we have had uh, uh, last time you were here regarding government interventions in market. Um, you have said, and you are sticking with it, that you don't believe that government intervention is appropriate. Um, and I asked your opinion on whether you felt it was appropriate for Trump, our President Trump now, to do these kind of ad hoc interventions like he did for Carrier and his various tweets about companies like Boeing. I mean, if we are critical of the Fed for its QE interventions, I'm wondering uh, what you think about the president now, um, and not only uh, sort of intervening in the markets, but being kind of an active participant. So what I see now happening with respect to things that affect firms is a focus on possible changes in regulations and in tax policy. It seems to me to the extent that firms can be uh, signaled there's a change in policy, that seems to me a good thing. There seems to be also a lot of evidence that firms are beginning to think there is going to be a change in tax policy and in regulatory policy. So, so how does, how does that, that's, that... That should be the emphasis in conversations is this is, we hope to have a, a, a more cost-benefit approach to regulations. So the regulations are, so, that, so you, you, the you, banks you, as the you wealth see, Mr. Firms. Let me reclaim my time. So you see that the president's intervention, like uh, you know, when uh, his dear daughter uh, Ivanka uh, saw that uh, her her line was um, was not being going to be carried by Nordstrom, he attacked this company. You, does, how does this fit in with your notion that we need to have a strategic uh, or rule based, whatever distinction you make between rule based and strategic? Um, uh, with him doing things like that, how 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 do you distinguish that between what the feds di did on a larger scale QE and what the president is doing? I don't know that particular case, but I am definitely everybody knows about I'm North definitely Street. of the view that uh, more strategic, uh, if you like, rules based policies are good, and more transparency about policy is good more emphasis on predictable policy more generally, rule of law, use of markets, uh, and a cost-benefit analysis to all government activities. So, so is the, pres the president, do you see this as rules-based for him to tweet out stuff about companies, Boeing, Nordstrom, Carrier? Is that strategic or rule-based, in your opinion? What I, what's important to me, and I, I don't read all the tweets to be sure, I do tweeting myself, I like tweeting, but I'm not reading all the tweets. What's important to me is the executive orders on regulations, passing the RAINS Act, using the, the uh, Congressional Review Act to take actions, that's what I see, that's okay. what I look at. So, okay, reclaiming my time. So you don't have any problem with the president intervening in markets, you just have a problem with the Fed doing it. 